increase in the price of EpiPens is leaving some families with a big bill. The medical device is mandatory in schools and arenas by state law because it can save the life of someone suffering from severe allergies. But what if people who need it can't afford it? 24-Hour News 8's Barton Dieters has our story. New at 6, Barton. All right, Susan, anyone who suffers from severe allergies or their parents knows that EpiPens can be the only thing standing in the way of a nightmarish trip to the hospital or worse. But the company that makes EpiPens has decided to boost the price. Last year when we got ours filled for school, it was $350 to have it filled. This year it was $550. Beth Meyer's son Cole is a third grader in Rockford schools who has a severe peanut allergy. As a result, the Meyers have to buy three EpiPen packages per year so he can have one for school, at home, and for emergencies. If it were up to me, actually, I would have like a ton of, I would have EpiPens coming, <laughs> coming out of my eyeballs, but you can't. You know, you can't afford to do that. The price of EpiPens has increased nearly five-fold over the last five years, from just over $100 to around $600. It's, it's skyrocketed. It's life-threatening, so you have to have them. Pennsylvania-based pharmaceutical company Mylon acquired the contract for EpiPens in 2007 and has been steadily increasing the price without any real change in the actual medication. So that's not an expensive drug, no. It's all in, it's all in the packaging of it. The company's stock surged from about $18 per share to more than $75 at its peak. In the second quarter of 2016, Mylon reported net sales from its specialty division, which includes EpiPens, of more than $402 million, a 33% increase compared to the second quarter of 2015. Mylon attributed much of this increase to higher volumes of EpiPen sales. Of course, medicine like this, what's that worth? You could price it at anything you wanted to if you're saving someone from a, you know, a bee allergy or a peanut allergy or something like that. The company has an annual operating revenue of nearly $8 billion. The EpiPen does have a $100 coupon, so we did get $100 off. <laughs> but when you're talking about $550, you know, it's not a huge. Now, I contacted Mylon to ask why the price has gone up. They emailed a statement that didn't answer the question, but did tout their EpiPen savings program for those who have trouble paying for the medication. Find a link to that at woodtv.com. In studio, Barton Dieters, 24-hour News 8.